All right, guys, today we are doing the carburetor and fuel lines on a Husqvarna 128 CD. First thing we're going to do is take this air filter cover off. We're going to remove the air filter. Now, the carburetor, fuel lines, filters, everything you'll need to do this job will be in the description down below. Uh, all right, now we're going to take out these two 8 millimeter nuts. We'll turn this choke to like the halfway on position, pull this straight off. Um, we're going to remove the uh, fuel lines, which this one's already broken and rotted out, no big deal. Just remove the fuel lines. Then we're going to remove the carburetor and uh, the throttle cable just kind of twist out like that. All right. Now we're going to remove the fuel lines from the tank. We're going to open this up, drain the gas, get all the debris fuel lines out of the out of the tank make sure it's good and clean all right so this guy has been in his he's worn the hole out he probably tried drilling it or something to get the fuel lines in fuel lines go in tight for a reason it's hard to get them in so that they don't leak um luckily he, he didn't really get past the spot to where it won't seal fuel line's gonna seal but any kind of shrinkage at all and this will this will leak so I'm going to be doing some extra stuff to it to make it you know I'm going to put a little nipple in there and, and it'll make it seal better but uh, for right now I want I'm going to show you how to do it yourself so you know with your normal hole so you don't have to worry about all that just don't drill it out there's a reason it's tight all right so cut it to a point shove it in the hole you're going to work it all the way down in there until you can grab it from the inside. With I usually use a long pair of needle nose pliers and you pull it all the way out of the tank. Get out of the tank, you cut the tip off and stab the filter on. You got the filter on, you shove it back into the tank to where it's laying flat on the bottom. I'm actually going to pull it all the way up to where the filter hits the bottom. I'm going to cut it off right here and then I'm going to shove this nipple in there and then push it down, put the line on the other side, I'll push it down to it because it'll swell the line up a little bit and it'll really seal it when I push it down in there. So see it just swells the line up a little bit so when I shove it down in it'll seal it. Now again the only reason I'm doing this is because Duke and Schmertz Evil Incorporated thought that it was easy to do his own fuel lines and then messed up his gas tank lucky for him i know what i'm doing and i can i save these from the ryobis i don't use them i just shove the line through so i have a bunch of these just for people like this guy so i don't have to buy a brand new tank and charge him an extra 30 bucks all right all right so you just cut it above the the bottom bolt when you put the new carburetor on the fuel lines are actually going to connect below that bottom bolt anyways so you just cut it there um, cut your fuel line into a point again and then shove it into the next hole this one you only got to get in about an inch this is your return line now you're going to put this uh, back on you're going to get the uh, throttle hooked up so I can get a good view of it just slide it in hook it on no big deal. Um, oh, don't forget the gasket. Oh, it's getting soaked in gasoline. But uh, brand new gasket. Um, this little primer hole right here goes towards the recoil. That's a, that's a vacuum hole actually. Not a primer hole, I'm sorry. It's a vacuum hole. Um, that's what runs your fuel pump that's inside your carburetor. So you get that right on. All the way in cable in this block sits right up on here make sure the cable is on the other side of that nipple this fuel line that goes to the filter goes to the back front uh, nipple so it may be a little bit long but on yours you'll be able to grab it on the bottom and pull it until it gets the right length this one I had to cut it to size and then you get this other line cut it to size Put it on there again you can always pull it from the bottom to shorten it up after you get it on check everything make it sure it's working properly um, then dump a little bit of gas in here and prime it up if 
if you see foam in there you've got it hooked up backwards and you have to re you have to re uh take the lines off and swap them around you got them backwards but no foam it primes up you're good it primed up and everything it's good it's good all right so then i'll uh throw the gas cap on so we don't throw any spill any gas in our lap just bend that in shove it in there no big deal Um, air filter assembly is going to go on now, half choke, where you can run the arm through that, line the studs up, and then put your two 8mm nuts on to hold it in place, two 8mm nuts. Hit our list on, uh, in the uh, comments below, we'll have a brand new filter in it. Just in case you want to clean yours, it is cleanable. You just use carb cleaner or brake clean and it'll clean right up. Uh, I blow it out with air when I'm done. And then I, uh, or if you don't have air hose, just stick it out in the sun. Let it sit somewhere out in the sun for 10, 15 minutes. It'll dry right up and you're ready to go. The kit comes with a brand new one. So I'm just putting that in for the customer. Slide it in place. Air filter cover, you're ready to go. Alright guys, that helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Um, all the parts will be in the description below. Today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. If you want me to wear one of your business shirts for a bunch of uh, advertising, more than happy to. Mail me it. Peace.